on September 11th, I was having breakfast like every morning uh, in my apartment. And uh, I have a, a big window that overlooks southern Manhattan. And from that window, I had a perfect and full view of the Twin Towers. It was the envy of everybody who ever came to my apartment, especially at night when they were completely lit up. And that morning, while I was having my tea, uh, I heard a sound. But before hearing the sound, I heard the vibrations deep inside me of the explosion. And I turned around, and I saw the ball of flame of fire that was uh, wrapping uh, the first tower that was hit. I didn't see the plane hitting. I just saw the, this ball of fire. And like any other New Yorker that day, even if we witnessed that, uh, I decided that life had to continue. Before heading out to work, I called home to tell them that I was fine. Uh, the phones were still working at that moment because the major news still haven't, hadn't reported on the attacks. And at that point, my father told me that uh, I was about to have a little niece. My sister-in-law was in the delivery room. And that was the, the double feeling for me for that day, expecting the birth of Maria Sole and seeing what was going on in New York. Uh, the second tower was hit, and at that point I was along the street. Um, and everybody was going about um, to his work or her school, and all the NYU students were coming to school, and every now and then they would look back south to see what was going on. I came to the casa. Um, I met the students that were in class during the attack and told them what happened. Uh, and we continued the day here um, regularly, even if we tried to understand what was going on. Uh, we were cut off as everybody else at that point. The phones were not working, the landlines were not working, the cell phones were not working, internet was down. Only our old uh, public payphone in the basement was still working as a miracle with quarters. And we made that available, especially to the people that were coming from what would be known later as Ground Zero, so that they could inform their families that they were alive and well. They were all covered in white dust. It looked like they had been uh, covered with uh, talc and uh, um, almost like phantoms coming from another world. And the following days, we, we came every day. The university was officially closed. All the establishments uh, below 14th Street were closed. There was no traffic allowed, no cars, no taxis, no buses, nothing. It was this surreal experience that you could walk up and down in the middle of Fifth Avenue without realizing um, that you were in the middle of New York. And we, we would come every day, the, our PhD students, our professors, we were here every day, even if there were no classes, trying to figure out, trying to understand uh, what happened. And we still haven't. There have been two wars, uh, two wars that largely have been useless. Um, Osama bin Laden, the head of the organization that brought these attacks on um, New York, um, was killed, uh, but I believe we still have not understood fully uh, the meaning and the consequences of that day in September.